Some items are so bad, they should be just burned. You literally cannot style them. Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. I'm joking, of course. No clothing should be burned, as this is not sustainable. You should just not buy the item in the first place, as there are some items that will never look good, chic or stylish, no matter how hard you try to style them. And I'm here to help you recognize them. I'll start with the item that, in my opinion, is the worst. And ladies, important disclaimer here, this is my opinion. But if you are wearing it and feel comfortable, confident and stylish even after my videos, you should definitely still wear it, because style is ultimately about how you feel, no matter what someone tells you to wear or what they think. So let's go back to business. This item is Bolero. All the Boleros were popular some decades ago. I feel like almost every second woman still has it in her closet even today. And the worst thing is, the models like this still exist and I don't know how it's possible, but somehow brands still sell them and women actually still buy them. If we talk about functionality of Bolero, Bolero is one of those very rare items that cannot be styled properly at all, and I mean it, it has zero functionality. Even if the rest of your outfit will be completely trendy, if you put on a Bolero, like the whole look will be very weird. Lena, but I thought Boleros are trendy again, I have been recently asked. Well, ladies, let's not confuse old dated Boleros with trendy cropped cardigans. And this is how they look like. Cropped cardigans are a bit more elongated and they have button at least at the top, while Bolero is very short and typically completely unbuttoned. Ladies, cropped cardigans that I've just showed are a short trend and they are not basic, meaning that they won't work for everyone and probably won't last long. If you are looking for a long-term alternative, go for a basic cardigan instead. More on how to choose a good cardigan, as well as many other tricks and hacks, you can find on my Instagram account. The link is below. The next item that goes neck to neck in my rating of items that should be burned is, well, the most odd item really, wedge trainers. And yes, ladies, they were popular more than a decade ago. Time changed, fashion moved on, but somehow wedge trainers are still being produced and the worst thing, bought. And yes, there is no way you can style wedge trainers. It will look odd in any case. Go for basic trainers instead. They will be the most versatile option and can be worn pretty much with everything. Okay, ladies, I have a confession to make. Back in the day, I was a big fan of the item that is next on my list. This item felt so soft to my skin and felt so comfortable. And this item is thin jersey tunic. I often see how women style it even today, casually with the skinny jeans and high heels. The problem with the jersey tunic is that it's basically shapeless. Because the fabric is so thin, it doesn't have any structure and has it looks most often dated and cheap. Typically, these tunics have round necklines, which doesn't help. And on top of it, they also sometimes have this button at the top, which makes it even less versatile. Even if you try to style it with high-waisted trousers and tuck it in, it will still look weird. If you're not sure about what top to choose, instead of experimenting with jersey tunic, uh, go for basic shirt or t-shirt. It will be very versatile, functional, and it will never look dated. Ladies, I recently did a video on how to choose good basic shirt as well as other staples. If you haven't seen it, do check it out. Talking about styling, there is one more thing that is pretty much impossible to style in a good contemporary way. And this item is flared or circle skirt. Some ladies think that this skirt is very feminine. Sorry to disappoint you ladies, but in my view, it's just dated. It doesn't look feminine, it just looks dated and completely not functional. You cannot style it with pretty much anything apart from high heels. Good alternative to flared skirt can be A-line skirt, like I'm currently showing. These skirts don't have that much volume, which makes them more versatile. They can be styled in many different ways, from casual styling with trainers or ballerinas to more feminine style with high heels. Which brings me to my next point. Back in the day, one of the synonyms of feminine style was top, 
a jumper or just a top with pearls or decorations. So ladies, these times are long gone. Pearls or very bright decor is something that is pretty much impossible to style, especially in the sweaters like this, like I'm currently showing. The style of these tops typically are also very dated and because the decor takes a lot of space on the top, it's pretty much impossible to style it. As an alternative, you can wear either basic jumper or sweater or jumper or sweater with either text logo or a bit of a small and simple print, like I'm currently showing. And one more hello from the past peasant skirts. These long voluminous skirts with low waistline, typically paired with either long top or very slim tee. This is how summer feminine style looked back in the day. But not anymore, ladies. If this was your favorite look and you are thinking about alternative, try to go for either setting or pleated skirt and match it with a basic straight t-shirt, like the models I'm currently showing. Next one is a memory from my childhood – pedal pushers. It seems like almost everyone had it back in the day. Me included, and no remorse here. But the past should stay in the past. Pedal pushers are officially off. What's the problem with pedal pushers? Well, apart from the fact that they are hopelessly dated, they also break all the proportions. In order to look good in pedal pushers, you really need to have a perfect body. Opt for more basic and more functional alternatives, like straight or cropped jeans. And don't forget that you can always cuff your jeans if you want to make them shorter. And the last item on my list are smart trousers or skirts with elastic waistline. Frankly, ladies, it looks so odd. Elastic waistline on smart skirts or trousers is something that can make the look very simplistic and plain, but definitely not chic. And moreover, it will be quite difficult to style it and to add structure to the look, as very often it's really hard to add a belt, because typically the belt slips. But I don't understand why some women actually love it, because it's very comfortable to wear these items. So, ladies, there are two ways how I think about it. First of all, you can just cover the waistline with um, either blazer or top, for instance, like your jumper or even a shirt. Or better, choose casual, not smart, trousers with elastic waistline for casual wear, like I'm currently showing. Make sure that the rest of your look is contemporarily styled, for instance, in a sporty style or even edgy, for instance. Ladies, I hope you liked this video. Please let me know in the comments if you did. I love reading them. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications.